Three hours have passed since we shelled the 3,000 ton freighter off the coast of Portugal. No enemy aircraft or surface vessels have been sighted since this encounter. I think we got off fairly lucky. The weather today is actually quite pleasant. Very smooth seas and little to no wind. Perfect flying conditions, so the bridge crew is on high alert as we approach Gibraltar. The aircraft that dove on us out of the night sky a few days ago gave me quite the scare. I suppose we'll need to start feeding the bridge crew more carrots. Hello everybody, Wolfpack345 here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 3. We are currently on part 2 of our first patrol, and we are closing in on Gibraltar. It's been... it hasn't been that much time since we... the last episode. We shelled that freighter, and we haven't spotted anything else since then. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon here, local time, and as you can see, we are, yeah, relatively close to Gibraltar. We still have about a day's worth of travel to go but once we get here it should be fairly easy pickings I want to say uh, from convoys going into the med and out but I think most of it is going to be going in so that should be fairly interesting I plan on lurking around here in CG 94 uh, and CG 97 these two here I don't want to get much closer due to the threat of allied aircraft and ASW patrols because if they only have to travel, you know, this amount of distance, uh, they'll probably send quite a few of destroyers out to hunt this U-boat down that's wreaking havoc in the Strait of Gibraltar. So I do not want to mess around with that. I'd rather avoid getting depth charged as much as possible. No aircraft and no surface contacts have been sighted since the sinking way up here, which I have to say I'm kind of surprised. And it turns out that that airplane that attacked us last episode in the middle of the night was actually a Portuguese aircraft. So I guess they were just protecting their neutral airspace or something. Uh, fairly interesting. That explains why he didn't drop bombs or anything on us. But it was a good scare, and I guess it gave us, you know, practice gave us uh, an opportunity to practice our crash diving. But other than that, it just scared the bejesus out of me. Uh, so I suppose that's all I have to say now. Nothing really interesting has developed since uh, we shelled that freighter way up there. Oh boy. And here we go. 307, again at night. I should probably crash dive. Both motors ahead flank. I wonder if it's another Portuguese aircraft. Go ahead and uh, man the flat guns. Let's see, he is closing in. Yikes, I actually, I'm not too sure about this. Los, los, los! Ich lade nach! I don't know if I want to open fire yet. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin! Flag Feuer bereit, Herr Kaloin! 308. Uh, I really don't see anything. Uh, all right, go ahead and fire at will. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Feuer frei. Wir eröffnen das Feuer. Okay, Los they're geht's, training Männer. their guns. Give me Jawohl, all you got, boys. Oh, shit. Get the <laughs> repair team ready. <laughs> this is bad. Fire. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely a baddie. As you can see, our... Oh, shit, this is not good. Oh, that was actually pretty close. It's RAF. Oh, there's the ley light that I was talking about. Alright, here we go. Come on, you better get him. Shit, this is not good. I should have crash dive. Flying boat looks like a Catalina dropping bombs. Okay, he missed. Hey, okay, zero out the rudder. Yikes. Looks like we're not going to get any hits. Alright, crash dive. I've had enough. Alright, well, that was exciting. <laughs> It looked like a Catalina. Actually, we can take a closer look. Yep. PBY. 
definitely British since it attacks me. And wow, yeah, that was actually kind of scary and very surprising. I guess I kind of thought it would have been another Portuguese aircraft, but yeah, we're just going to crash down. Oh, he's looping back around. Thankfully, we're going under fairly quickly. We're already at 10 meters. Our bridge should be getting under now. Yeah, we're okay. Let's go ahead and do a course change just in case he drops bombs again on our last known position. I don't want to be too predictable here. And yeah, we are plummeting down like a rock. Perfect. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> uh, thankfully, he missed with his bombs, but that could have very well been the end of us. I was mostly just curious if it was going to be another neutral aircraft, but obviously uh, it was not. Very interesting, very interesting indeed. Oh, he dropped up charges. All right. Okay, well, we can go ahead and slow down. We'll say submerge for the time being. Actually, let's go ahead and go to our hydrophones here and take a listen real fast. See if there's anything closing in. Oh. I have very faint screws. That's a destroyer. 247. Yikes. Let's turn towards it. <laughs> Mostly, I'm just curious. It looks like he is heading towards us. They are very high speed. He's moving fairly quickly. That goddamn Catalina is still above us, apparently. She's still dropping depth charges. Now let's turn towards this destroyer. See, it might be just escorting something. Who knows? I suppose we'll find out. Let's take another listen. It's getting louder. Definitely a destroyer. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It's a good thing I checked this. Who is on the hydrophones? How can you not hear that, my friend? Gunner and pull. Freaking chump. All right, well, let's go ahead and use some time compression here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And see, maybe he's just uh. There's a merchant too. I'm fairly certain of that. Pretty sure. I think I hear uh, a merchant ship as well. Yeah, I do think there is a low chugging uh, noise associated there. There we go. Merchant. Yep, indeed. I'm surprised he picked up the merchant first and not the, the destroyer. No way that's just a, sink, a merchant. Am I? I didn't mean to do that. Maybe it's a very small merchant ship, but I, I'm pretty sure there is a escort. Maybe not. Alright, well, let's go ahead and surface then. All head standard. If it's another just lone merchant, we can probably shell him. And let's go ahead and just standard propulsion. No need to recharge batteries at this moment. And let's close in on him. There we go. I guess it is just a single merchant ship. Yeah, it's small. That's why it was very high pitched. Where are you, my friend? I guess this would be a good time to use our flat gun. Where is he? I do not see anything. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. 027. Oh yeah, way out there. It's very small. Yeah, we'll go ahead and shell this guy to smithereens and continue onward. Although this might not be a good idea with the <laughs> allied air cover that is in the area, but you know what? That's all I'm I'm full of bad ideas. 
So we're gonna go ahead and shell him. He's not that small, actually. Perfect deck gun material, I must say. Let's go ahead. You fellas, go ahead and go to bed. Yes, please. Right, closing in. Oh, he's engaging us. Apparently he has a gun, too. Okay. Well, man battle stations, then. I'm gonna go ahead and man the flat guns as well. Just in case, I want the deck guns manned. All right, go ahead and open fire on him. And good job, boys, you already whiffed. Just in case any allied aircraft starts swooping down on me, because he's probably already radioed us in. And we know that PBY is operating in the area, so it might get redirected over here. So we want to make quick work of this merchant ship. And it looks like my gun crew is... Uh, <laughs> having some trouble with that so I'll go ahead and hop on all right go ahead and give me a range boss and right, let's go ahead and maneuver here and we can probably slow down as well 3,000 meters sounds good to me all right and we can actually we can pretty much just come to a borderline stop here doesn't look like he has a very high caliber gun on his decks. So I don't think I have to worry about him hurting us. Especially at this range. Alright, and fire. Let's see if we get a hit. Oh shoot, it looks like I overshot actually. There we go, let's try that. Brought it down a couple meters. Wow, overshot again. Hot diggity dog. Alright, well let's try one more time. There we go, waterline hit. Already caught on fire as well. We only have 89 deck gun shells to go, so I might as well just get rid of them. <laughs> I might as well just use them now against these lone ships. Um, I really wouldn't want to torpedo this guy unless I really needed to. So that's why, unfortunately, y'all will have to bear through another deck gun attack. I know they're not the most exciting thing in the world, but... At least this one, we have the threat of allied aircraft swooping down and... Oh, she's going down. Wow. What was that? Four deck gun shots? Three or four? Man, that was... That was freaking easy. All right. Well, let's go ahead and continue yeah, on our course. Yeah. Let's go standard. Yeah. All right. And loop around. Let's go ahead and get my watch crew back on deck so we can keep an eye out for airplanes. Let's go ahead and get rid of this redundant flag here as well. Wow, where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, oh wow, she broke up quick. Oh, that was extremely easy. <laughs> Alright, well, hey, the second ship in the back, let's see what it was. Coastal freighter, 1,869 tons. Alright, not too shabby for, what, three deck gun shells? Gotta say, I'm fairly happy with those results. And we will continue down uh, towards Gibraltar for a bit. I'm not going to try to spend too much time down here. I don't want to use all of my torpedoes up. And uh, we'll continue down towards uh, the African coast, which is really where I think we'll have a lot of fun. So anyway, I'll stop rambling now, and I will cut here. All right, we have mass on the horizon. Way out there. It looks like a fairly large ship, though. So we are going to go ahead and turn to engage. Looks like he is heading west-northwest. Let's go ahead and start marking here and getting contact, or getting starting to plot our target here. Uh, we are in the area of Gibraltar at this point. I set up a very you know, rudimentary search pattern here in the hopes of finding a convoy, but I suppose I will settle for this guy here. I'll probably try to just plug one fish into him and finish him off with a deck gun since it's just one ship. That is the uh, the plan right now, though. So let's go ahead and do another mark and try to get a rough course here. Let's see. It looks like his course is about yeah two eight five degrees. Okay, so we'll go ahead and mark that down. Two eight five degrees, perfect. And we'll go ahead and turn towards him. Let's go ahead and just turn due north for the time being. 
That should work out a-okay. And we are actually fairly close to his plot. Let's see how long. So it might be in our best interest to go ahead and submerge now. He's about five kilometers away. Well, his track is. Let's see. I do not yeah, want to get yeah, spotted on. out here on the surface by him. And then ruin everything because he's zigzagging. But he is still way out there. So we might actually be okay here to stay on the surface for just a bit. Let's go ahead and actually ahead full and try to close this distance ASAP so we can go ahead and dive. Yeah, this is actually going to be perfect. Okay, periscoped up now. I just don't want to get risk getting detected. If anything, I might be actually able to use a stern torpedo too. That would actually be fairly nice. Let's see, what do I actually have back there? So I have, I do have a T2 in the aft. I might end up using that. We'll see though. All right, let's go ahead and slow down and just align ourselves towards his track. Like so, perfect. I mean, he's coming right for us and it made setup extremely easy, <laughs> actually. That was, that was way easier than it needed to be. All right, and we just want to start crawling, uh, like 50 RPM in both motors, please. Because I don't want to get too close here. The arming distance for our torpedoes is 300 meters at the least, so I do not want to get too close and risk duds. All right, and he is just crawling along. Let's go ahead and take a look through our per attack periscope here. And let's have our hydrophone operator go ahead and track the target. Let's go ahead and actually get a weapon officer in position. 079. Says he's increasing speed. That's interesting. There he is. Um, I cannot make that out from here. However, it might be a little smaller than I was anticipating. So, we'll go ahead and let him close on in here. All right, we are just crawling, as you can see now. We don't want to all stop because that makes depth keep being rather difficult. However, I think we will actually be in a fairly solid spot. All right, up scope. Let's take a quick peek. We do want to use an electric torpedo due to the extremely calm and sunny conditions. And hmm. yeah, I suppose we can pump a fish into her. I think that'll work out and then we can continue to torpedo or use the deck gun to finish her off rather quickly no 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 don't crash dive <laughs> oops all right no no oh my gosh false alarm false alarm all right boys at least they're on their feet all right i meant to pull this out that, that's going to be an issue because in silent hunter 4 you press c and it brings out the karometer and in this, uh, C is obviously crash dive. All right, let's go ahead and start timing here. And we time for three minutes and 15 seconds. Two minutes, three, and closing in on 15 seconds now. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hopefully I don't miss. This is going to be the first torpedo attack of the series, actually, for us. So <laughs> uh, if I messed it up, I will hate myself even more than I already do all right so we have seven knots perfect let's go ahead and take a look here let's go ahead and stop that all right let's see and I can already pick out what that is let's go to merchant ships and we get to play the good old clicking game here and let's see it is a Granville type freighter so yep back one yes sir re so go ahead and lock that in. It's about a 5,000 ton ship, which is not too bad, actually. All right, so we'll let him close in and we'll go ahead. We'll actually start moving a little slower. We want to be fairly close. It looks like he's going to be at about, oh, a thousand meters away. And we'll, we'll get him, we'll get up nice, close and personal to him, you know try to be friends here we do want to lower our scope here so here we can see how high my periscope was compared to the water line and yeah that is <laughs> that was not good probably very easy to spot oh my gosh our bridge is actually coming up 
Is it? Yeah. Let's actually take a look. Our bridge is probably extremely close. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I was very nervous. <laughs> I thought our bridge was uh, breaching the surface. That would have been actually very bad. Very bad indeed. All right, so we'll go ahead and get a nice range reading here. The ocean's nice and flat, so this is going to be fairly easy. Mark, so he's about 2,000 meters away. Let's go ahead and set that into our TDC. Angle on bow right now is about 40 degrees. We'll go ahead and lock that in, and we establish speed is 7 knots set. Let's see what torpedo we want to shoot. I guess we'll shoot tube 2, or tube 1, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll shoot tube 1. It's a G7E torpedo. So we'll go ahead, let's see, what's the draft? 6.1 meters. I'm going to go ahead and go with an impact pistol. We'll set depth for 3 meters. Impact. Yeah, that should be A-OK. -okay. And as you can see, our AOB is going to automatically update. Well, it should be. Yep, it's, it is indeed automatically updating. So we'll go ahead and wait here. And, oh, uh, shoot halfway no we'll be okay we'll be okay i'm halfway tempted to go ahead and start reversing the boat because we are mighty close but i do like shooting at very close ranges kind of like a shotgun it works fairly effectively all right let's go ahead and wait here and she is getting into a very good position wow this setup was actually relatively perfect as we can see they are equipped with a, probably what, a four inch gun on the aft or on the stern of the ship. So I want to be careful about that whenever we surface that gun. But who knows? Maybe one torpedo will be enough for her. We'll see. I, I con I'm contemplating a magnetic. But in this case, I want to be sure I actually hit the ship. And that our pistol works, to be honest. So we'll wait here. It looks like closing in nicely. All right. Let's go ahead and get ready to open tube number one here. Can get that out of here. All right. So AOB, it looks like they have, let's go ahead and adjust it just a smidge. It's probably closer to 80 degrees now, lock. And let's get one more range reading here. 700 meters, perfect. Everything's set. Make sure I have seven knots locked in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything looks good to me. Open tube one. First torpedo attack of the series. Let's get ready. We'll shoot once our gyro angle here hits zero. <sighs> All right. I'm kind of nervous here, but who knows? All right. And tube one. Once this hits zero, we're firing. All right, tube one, los. All right, tube one away. Pretty much a 90 degree angle, actually. It looks perfect. As you can see, the masts are pretty much aligned at this point, so that's a fairly good firing position. Looks like the runtime is 45 seconds. So hold your breath, I suppose. Cross your fingers. Let's hope, I guess I can look at my track now. Let's see what the map says. Yep, that looks pretty damn good. <laughs> Range was a smidge off, and it might hit a little aft. I suppose we will have to watch and find out. All right, closing in on 35 seconds. 10 seconds till impact. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, zero. Shit. Well, uh, what the hell? Okay, uh, tube two, speed fast impact pistol, lock on target, AOB is going to be a little bad. I wonder if it ran aft, so let's go ahead and increase speed. Open tube two, screw it, why not? Tube two, fire. Oh, Los. Come on, please. Torpedos there we go. 
I wonder if it was just a dud and it ran under. That is very possible, actually. And I probably, I think that is actually what happened there. But thankfully, the second snapshot put her under. I don't know if she is actually going down. Yep, she's going down. One torpedo, one ship. Perfect. <laughs> All right, that worked out. I guess that was two torpedoes. Uh, since one of them obviously missed. I wonder what happened there. Because I didn't... Maybe it did run aft, but I only increased my speed by about... I guess one knot. Half a knot. Yeah, about half a knot. And it still landed fairly smack dab in the middle. So, oh well. I guess we'll never know if it just ran aft or ran under. I have a feeling. My gut says it ran under. And uh, it running under makes me feel a little better about myself. So we'll go with that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and resume our course. And let's go ahead and try to get the hell out of Dodge now. Let's go ahead and... Here our freaking torpedo that missed. Mocking me. Do a quick sweep. Make sure we don't hear anything. I don't think. Okay. Something is popping up way out there. I think there are screws mingled in with the enemy ship. The enemy ship flooding with water. Yeah, there's something out there. Contact. Kriegsschiff. Oh no, that's just the ship. We're just picking up the noises of the ship sinking. Okay, that's all that is. Got kind of worried there that it might have been uh, you know, something not good <laughs> closing in on our position. Oh boy. And yeah, but she is she is done for. Perfect. Well, that's another ship that bites the dust. Unfortunately, we had to use two torpedoes, but uh, that's just the way it is sometimes, I suppose. We'll go ahead and start reloading those in the meantime. Uh, let's go ahead and get a torpedo man in the torpedo room. And I want... Uh, uh, no, please. They're already reloading their torpedoes. I want to kind of choose, but it looks like I only have electrics in reserves. I don't know why I did that. That is really annoying. Anyway, I suppose we will go ahead and go with that. And Lame. <laughs> oh, well. well. We'll use electrics, I suppose. Um, I mean, they do have their benefits, but they're not necessarily my favorite by any means. Oh, looks like we spotted a... Tommy aircraft flying above through our periscope and she is just detonating as she slipped on her. Goodbye. Looks like there is an airplane that was radioed in. I guess it's a good thing we didn't uh, go ahead and surface and use the deck gun because this little, this little bugger would have come on in and uh, roughened us up a little bit. Well, I suppose that'll be all for this actual episode. Thank you all for watching, as always. Yeah, and she already, she just went down like a rock. I'm actually surprised that one torpedo did the job, but not not angry about it by any means. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next episode where hopefully we encounter a British convoy and get to sink our teeth into that. But uh, anyway, for now, that'll be all. 